hello everyone so welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to learn how to use the attributes and get in work in our last video we have started developing our custom block and now we will start uh, working on how can we manage our data in Gutenberg before going to start on the attributes I want to mention about the React state management system if you are familiar with the react and i hope you know how the state works and how props works so if you are familiar with this react state management system then it will be very easy for you to understand the attributes you can call the attributes and put in back this is similar to the react state management system that means attributes will help us to manage our data that may uh, it means that we can store data we can update the data and we can also show the data to our users so if you go to the developer uh, gutenberg developer handbook and come to this attributes uh, menu you will get a description about this attribute how it works or how it can be managed so most important part is that the attributes is an object and inside this object is attribute is a separate object and this attribute has a required field and that is called the drive that's mean you have to you must have to use a drive for this attribute then you can use a default value or you can simply skip it let me show you one by one so i have opened my blocks dot block dot json file and inside this file you can see this is our json object and there is a property that is called the attributes and it is an another object inside this object we will write all of our attributes we need suppose in our last video we have uh, developed a simple uh, block that was our first block and inside our edit.js we have used only a, a static tag a static text we want to change it to today and to want to show the updated value so that you user can uh, use uh, their own text or own content so we can do this using our attributes let me show how to do this first of all i want to write the name of this attribute like this can be our text or content or anything you want no problem there is no problems about the confliction or any other issues so you can give any name no problem and it is an another object so inside this object the most important uh, properties is the type you must have to use a type type can be different types uh, if you go to the attributes handbook and you will find there are null boolean object array string or you can use number since we are going to use an string so i am giving this a string and secondly we can use a default uh, value or you can keep it blank suppose i want to use a default value hello world so our activity is successfully um, set now i have to run this one npm run start or npm start our blog is started now we have to go to our editor.js file inside this editor.js file i want to know what we are getting here so this uh, was our editor.js file or this uh, and inside this file we have a function that is called edit function and I hope you know if we want to get the attributes we have to get these attributes from the props and the props are as a parameter in a function that's mean edit 
function accept parameters and that parameter is props so if we console log the props then we will get some more information suppose this is our props and if I refresh and check out my console inspector and console you can see we are getting an object and inside this object there is some more information about our block first one is the attributes that means inside this attributes we are getting the text attribute and we are getting a value of this attribute is this hello world and keep in mind that we are getting an another uh, props that is called the uh, client id that means we can use a client id this client id is a dynamic uh, id for every block that means it is an unique id then by getting the context we can also use a selected and some more other information and most important things we need that we need attributes we need a uh, client id when we will use uh, like the slider if you use a slider block or something like this then this client id is needed we can also use this client id for uh, styling our uh, block then we have most important part as this set attributes this set attributes as a function that means it also help us to update the attributes of hello so i am going to distract this like we are going to get also attributes and set attributes i hope you know how to distract uh, it is a simple javascript concept uh, so we are getting this attributes and i want to also distract our attributes like we have the attribute text and we will get it from these attributes now instead of using a hard coded or the static content i want to replace this with our own attribute value and this value is our text okay similarly if i go to this our sub function we'll also get props and we can simply distract like attributes oh, sorry and from this attribute we can distract our text attribute and instead of erasing this one we can use text Uh, we can use the is to take that will be better it will look is to take oh sorry 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 so now simply sub this one and if i go to this uh add it on update I can see there is a validation error simply attempt block recovery and you can see hello world now this hello world is coming from our attribute if I say at the front end I am getting this value now we will add an option for our users so that they can replace this uh, so initially for this panel I want to use a text uh, control so that the user can input their own content we will also discuss more about it and later no worries about it so suppose i want to add a text control text control if you don't know how to use a text control it is very simple you will get to this uh, components if you go to the reference like this if you go to the component reference this component reference and go to the text like it is at the bottom almost at the bottom yes we can get it from here like this text control or text area control like this text control if we check out this documentation we'll see 
that we get an input field like something like this one and this is our component you can simply copy from here and use in your block so i want to remove this unnecessary information and there is an important note that we have to import this text control for my components so i want to remove all of this and want to export sorry import text control like this first uh attribute is the level i can set a level like i can make it translatable so we can give any kind of level i am giving a simple dummy name like the block uh, content level okay and the value value will be this uh, will be our value that's mean our attribute value and on change as a function this function accept a parameter like v and if we console log this v like console log the v will get our informations oh yeah and if i go back to here and refresh and if i inspect now select this first block you can see there is a text field and it is giving a field to write any content if i open my console and write some information like hey or something like this when we are typing something here you can see we're getting a result here so we want to change this value and we want to replace but we are so we can simply do this to do this we have to set attributes function and if we want to set attribute we have to use curly braces and inside this curly braces we have to first get the name of this attribute like text and second the parameter like to be or value and if i refresh I will see the result you can see this is our text field if I remove you can see it is gone but if I type hello world I am a good developer or something like this and if I update go to the front end I will see our data is saved and it is working fine so this is the simple process of how that TV2 works. So I think this short video will help you how to start showing your data using attributes. You can also do anything. However, we will discuss about more components, more uh, feature later on this coming video. So don't worry about it. So I simply request you to go to this uh, documentation and try to implement uh, this feature in your one block so see you next video thank you